Hey, what's going on guys? So today is going to be the update on the Altum and Discus planted tank. I don't know what's going on this year, but I have been really, really unlucky with this tank all year so far. So let me get you guys up to date with this tank on some of the changes. Back in May, which was the last video I shot for this tank, I was having issues with the plants where the plants had basically stunted growth. I narrowed this down to the regulator being the issue and the regulator was pretty much broke and it didn't dispense any CO2 into the tank for almost like a couple weeks and that's why the tank was kind of like slowly gradually melting and the plant wasn't doing really well. Since then the regulator was fixed, um, replaced and everything was working on the CO2 side. And to be honest, the growth of the plants has been really slow. Uh, normally in the month and a half, this whole tank should have been filled up with plants. I should have been trimming this at least like two times by now, and I haven't trimmed this tank once yet. The growth seemed to be like really non-existent for some of the plants. It was just kind of the same uh, size for a long time, for weeks on end. Uh, so I started looking into, you know, what's going on just because, you know, I thought it was the regulator. I fixed that and, you know... CO2 was coming out of the, the regulator, it, it, it was fixed. I checked everything and then I quickly glanced at the thermometer, something I should you know normally check often, but I don't. Noticed that the temperature was a lot higher than what it normally should have been. So this tank uh, with discus in it, I normally keep it at 84 degrees. Looking at the thermometer, it was reading at 90. And so the very first thing I checked was the heater, obviously. I've actually had a lot of issues with the cobalt heaters in the past. Um, and specifically this version of the heater, the Neo version. And of course, checking the heater, the heater was stuck at 90 um, and you couldn't change it at all. You pull the plug, plug it back in, it'll just stick at 90. So it will malfunction and just read at 90. I've had a lot of heaters in the past, Cobalt specifically, where they will malfunction and get stuck at 90. Don't know what's wrong. It'll be different sizes. This one was a 300 watt, I've had 200 watt, 100 watt, 75, 50 watt, all of them, same issue. I've had those malfunction in the past. I've actually had one uh, malfunction where um, it was throwing current into the tank and every time I would put my hand in the tank to feed the fish, I would get a small shock. I've had a cobalt heater exploded on me and actually crack and basically spent this foul odor into the whole house. So uh, I've had a fair share of failures on Cobalt side. I've actually reached out to them um, once when I had two heaters fill on me back to back. Um, you know, they were nice enough to replace, you know, the heaters. But uh, to be honest, with the rate of failures I've had with Cobalt, I don't think I want to use their heater. You know, to be fair with them, I've actually had other heaters fail on me like Eheim and whatnot. So... Maybe it's just a heater thing, you know, after several years of usage, they break on you or they malfunction. And, you know, that might be a thing, right? And maybe they should advertise that where, like, you know, every three years or two years, replace your heater because it's going to suck. It's going to fail. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but the new heater I'm using right now is a different brand that I've actually never heard of. But I've actually bought them just because, one, they're cheaper. I've seen good reviews on uh, online, so went ahead and give them a try. So with everything going wrong with this tank, hopefully, you know, I found the fix for everything now. You know, hopefully the plants will start to grow in. Um, you know, the Kimberleys are, you know, already growing to the top. It just took a very long time. Like I said, normally these plants grow pretty fast in probably like two to three weeks. They should just, you know, grow to the top. And the stems should pretty much double or, you know, get a lot larger. But the stems seem to, just, you know, stay the same size. And, you know, they're barely getting to the top where they're opening up. Another good sign is the crepes are starting to shoot off a lot of babies, uh, which is always a good sign. That means they're starting to grow. Um, I did trim back a lot of the leaves that showed a lot of algae growth on them from the you know previous uh, months of just not growing and just being stagnant. All right, so let's talk about the livestock and the tank. Um, one thing you'll notice, uh, we have two fewer uh, autumn angels in the tank. Uh, the reason being, it seems like these two have paired off again where they're trying to form a pair or something i still cannot confirm it just because i have not seen any eggs being laid uh, but i've noticed that these two would chase the other two into a corner and then the other two would just kind of sit in the corner forever pretty much all day until it was feeding time 
that was the only time they would move out of the corner and anytime that they would try to you know try to swim these guys would just peck at them and just push them to a corner so uh, I felt kind of bad for the other two, so I went ahead and removed those two into the tanks outside for the time being. Once I do confirm that these guys are a pair, where one of them lays eggs and maybe the other one fertilizes them, and we actually get some sort of wiggler, uh, I will probably end up moving these two into a breeder tank outside and giving them a try in terms of breeding. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a happy 4th of July. Make sure you guys all stay safe. Until next time, guys. Peace.